So today we're going to introduce you to verifying form data using regular expressions. Before we get too into that, I do want to let you know that there is an easier way for most form validation, um, for simple form validation. With HTML5, it does simple validation to see if things have been submitted. And you can also use the input pattern attribute, which is using regular expressions like we do here. So you can look for this, and you can also look in HTML forms you have the options option to have things listed as required and that'll just make sure it exists and i think they have that somewhere somewhere in here but you do have hmm i think it's in the attributes you can put an initial value in it so you can tell them what people things that should look like uh, you can make forms read only, disabled, and somewhere you do have the option of required, which will check to see if they have something in there. But there's lots of there's lots and lots of stuff on forms. We're only going to get lightly into this. When you want to get more complex, uh, you can do form validation with JavaScript and regular expressions. Again, a lot of this is now moving over to HTML5, so I'm not going to have you do a very lot of uh, form validation, but you should understand how it works. Now, I've set up a form here with an error, error message area right here. That's not typically how I'd do it. Typically, I'd use an alert box, or I'd just have a spot for errors um, at the top or bottom, but this isn't a bad way to go. So if I put in something that's invalid and here it's just checking to see if I have all letters so it doesn't really make a difference between um, all text letters they can't tell if it's really a name but it will tell that it doesn't have any goofy characters in it like when I was just hitting the keys the last name validates the same way so I can't have Winchester 3 or something like that uh, so, oh yeah, that's not proper email. So you do have to have all text characters. Not the greatest way to do it because you could have a third or a junior or something like that and it doesn't really allow for that. The email one is very, very simple. It's just looking for, um, so if I just put in letters, it's not going to work. It wants a at sign and a dot. So I could just do hi at my dot com meets the requirements uh, for the phone it is looking that it matches this scenario this layout it's very simple form it doesn't do anything when you hit res you can't submit you just hit reset it refreshes it and it's putting all your error information over here but let's take a quick look at how it's done now regular expressions are very very complex so I'm not going to teach you how to create regular expressions, I am going to tell you where to find a regular expression. Um, so this is my HTML and I'm doing an on blur event. On blur just means that you leave a text field and then I call check first, check last, check email, check phone. So let's go take a look at our JavaScript. So I'm trying to move to the current standards with use strict. I'm still using my shortcut here for get element by ID. Um, I'm creating a my error with document dot get element by ID error message that shows up right here in this area. So that's where the message goes. So I have almost identical functions 
each function is going to set a variable, a local variable. This one's named first name. It's doing the get element by ID for first and it's getting the value. This is my regular expression. I'm going to do a test to see if, and this is a JavaScript function, I'm just going to test to see if first name works with the regular expression. So if not test, this means that there's an error. If it passes a ter error, it just tells you that it meets the criteria. Now if I were doing this for a real page, I wouldn't have anything show up. I was just testing to make sure that my regular expressions were working. It was helping me during development to have these up here so that you could see what was correct and what wasn't. The regular expressions, this one, um, I just did a search on a very simple email expression because a lot of the ones I was getting were failing. And this is a more complex one for phone and it's specifying the parentheses 0 through 9. I don't really want to get into how the regular expressions are created. But for more information on regular expressions, this is where I got most of my regular expressions from. You can search for like an email one and there's lots of different ones in here. I tried to keep with a really simple one. The one I got I actually found just by searching for a searching Google for an email regular expression and you can just do that because these were doing more than I wanted them to. But I got my phone and I had to specify US phone from here and then I got a pattern. I can't remember which one I took but I think it was like this one. I just copied the pattern into my JavaScript and you can see these are where my regular expressions. Now the regular expressions have to go into quotes and then you just plug them into the formula and that should work.